very important in terms of teapots. Turning is part of the craftsmanship of making the form. I make a chuck, you can see here, and the uh, chuck is designed to hold that in place without damaging the, the gallery or anything around on there. So I can place that in the, uh, in the chuck. And that will help just to hold it there while I centre up. Now usually within the chuck I usually take the measurement, sorry, not the measurement, but the centering from the top and then I'll tip away from that line. And usually if that's fairly level, then it would be fairly level on the side as well, near enough. So a bit of fine tuning. And that's it. Just give it a bash in. Most of the turning I use this turning tool. I think 146 from CTM <laughs> information. But uh, I do nearly all my turning with this tool. I find if I cut with the point and work my way out, breaking the surface up like that, then pulling out across there. That helps to get the, the base flat. Now I take quite a bit off here, try to continue that curve. What I don't like about turning, I think, is it you're using the clay in a different condition to throwing and you're using metal tools and so on. So it makes it, I think I said earlier about engineering, whereas I, I think uh, Michael Cardew was called a mud and water man and uh, I tend to be in that kind of area. So I like working with the clay soft rather than in this condition. But for teapots I find it, you know, essential really to to throw them and make them light enough. I often give a bit of emphasis to the change of direction and I always soften off and put an angle on the base. And soften it with my fingers, polish it. So that's now ready for the next stage of assembly. So I leave enough room 
in the center and then add a coil into that hollow and center that up. So the lid becomes a continuous part of the form rather than a sep separate piece on there. And that's always a question you get asked is how to get the lid out. <laughs> 